Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about coefficient of correlation. So, this video will be useful for BSc Nursing, MSc Nursing and Post Basic BSc Nursing students. This video will also be useful for students who are studying biostatistics under any discipline. This was taken from the subject Nursing Research and Statistics. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video, coefficient of correlation. What is coefficient of correlation? The correlation coefficient is a statistical measure of the strength of a linear relationship between two variables that is you are seeing the relationship between two variables linear means line so and it is depicted by means of a straight line so the correlation coefficient is a statistical measure of the strength of a linear relationship between two variables so the correlation coefficient is represented by the symbol small r and it will be varying from minus 1 to plus 1 so if it is minus 1 it indicates perfect negative correlation if r value is 0 it indicates no correlation if r value is plus 1 it indicates perfect positive correlation so the correlation coefficient is denoted by r as i have told earlier and it measures the strength of the straight line of linear relationship and in which direction whether it is moving in a positive direction or whether it is moving in a negative direction so it shows the linear relationship between two variables for example, height is one variable, weight is one variable, okay. So, if height increases, weight also increases. So, this shows what positive correlation. If one variable increases, other variable also increases means then it is positive correlation. If one variable increases, other variable decreases. For example, if the hemoglobin values of the mother increases, the incidence of low birth weight decreases. So, this is what a negative correlation or suppose if you are climbing very high in the mountains so the temperature will be decreases as the height you are climbing increases the temperature in the mountain is going to get decreased so this is what inverse so which shows a negative correlation no correlation no correlation means there is no correlation between the two variables for example beauty and performance in examination you cannot tell all beautiful uh, persons will be performing very good in examinations. It may or may not be. So, you cannot. Uh, so, there is no correlation between beauty and performance in examination. So, there are so many types of correlation. Perfect positive correlation, perfect negative correlation, moderately positive correlation, moderately negative correlation, absolute no correlation. Perfect positive correlation means R value is exactly 1. Perfect negative correlation means R value is exactly minus 1. No correlation means R value is 0. Then what is a highly positive correlation? Highly positive correlation means the range will be varying from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9. The range will be varying from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 R value. Then moderately positive correlation. The range will be varying from 0.4 to 0.6 r value will be ranging from 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 then weakly positive correlation r value will be ranging from 0.1 to yes 0.1 to 0 0.3 r value will be ranging from 0.1 to 0 0.3 so that is weak positive uh, correlation next moving on to Strong negative correlation means minus 1. Perfect negative correlation means minus 1. Okay. Highly strong negative correlation means 0.9 to 0.7. Minus 0 0.9 to minus 0 0.7 is strongly negative correlation. Minus 0 0.79 to Minus 0 0.7 is strongly negative correlation, highly strongly negative correlation. Moderately negative correlation means minus 0 0.62, minus 0 0.62, minus 0 0.4 
is moderately negative correlation then what is weak negative correlation means minus 0.3 to minus 0.1 so in this way you have to write the inferences so perfect positive correlation as i have told earlier if one variable increases the other variable decreases means then it is perfect positive correlation height increases weight also will increase so which shows a positive correlation here they have given in this picture uh, in this graph representation thus as temperature increases the sales of ice cream also increases in celsius if the temperature increases the sales of the ice cream also increases or you can take the simple example if height increases weight also increases so perfect negative correlation so here if one variable increases the other variable will be decreasing for example as i have told earlier if hemoglobin values of mother increases incidence of low birth weight is going to get decreased or if you are going to um, climb high in the mountains the temperature will be decreases as your height in climbing of the mountain increases the temperature will be decreases so see the graphical representation is in the inverse direction next to moving on to no correlation i have told no there is uh, some variables which doesn't have any correlation like beauty performance in examination here r value is 0 then uh, shoe size and number of movies watched so you cannot tell that people who are having a um, more shoe size increased shoe size uh, will be watching increased movies uh, in a month you cannot uh, tell then beauty and performance in examination weight you cannot tell uh, people who are have overweight they will earn more like that and all you cannot tell this weight variable and income variable doesn't have any correlation similarly height and examination score you cannot tell all tall people will perform very good in exams similarly all short people you cannot tell that they will not perform very good in ex exams so height and examination score is also you don't have any relation so it is an example for zero correlation or no correlation see here for example they have given r value if it is 0 0.4 how the values will be and how if you are going to draw a linear relationship like that in a positive way it will go off if r value is zero there is no correlation which is represented in the middle diagram and if r value is a negative it is in the inverse in the third diagram you can see it very clearly next you can see in this uh, diagram so very clearly they have shown in the first thing is perfect positive correlation next is highly perfect positive correlation next is low positive correlation okay this is perfect negative correlation highly negative correlation then this is no negative low negative correlation this last diagram is there is absolutely no correlation or zero correlation so in this way you can draw the graphs and you can plot so this type of uh, diagram already we have seen in graphs it is known as scattered diagram so you can represent coefficient of correlation by graph scattered diagrams or you can use some formulas like uh, Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation Spearman's rank correlation if they have given the ranks like that so next we will see uh, what are all the other methods to compute coefficient of correlation other than scattered diagram so call pearson coefficient of correlation the formula gives correlation uh, this formula r is equal to sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of uh, sigma x minus x bar whole square into square root of sigma y minus y bar whole square next is Spearman's rank correlation so this is a row this uh, it's not small p it is r h o row okay r h o row so this symbol no this symbol is uh, not p it is rho is equal to 1 minus 6 uh, sigma d square divided by n into n square minus 1 already in our channel playlist we have posted uh, sums with regard to call pearson coefficient of correlation scattered diagrams graph and also spearman's rank correlation when ranks are given directly when uh, 
ranks are not given and not repeated uh, when uh, ranks are given and when ranks are repeated or with the tie everything we have explained detail in our channel playlist you can watch it or also i have given the link in description box also you can go and watch it so hope this video is clear for you all thank you for listening if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist bsc nursing research and statistics or for statistics we have created a separate playlist statistics for bsc nursing students thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel